personal log. Mission Specialist Kate Ward, Sentient Contact Assessment and Response Team. We always wondered if we're alone in the universe. We observed and explored, but found nothing. Until now. Scar Mission Control to Hermes. Status check. All systems nominal. We're working on a solution for our scan power requirement. We'll update soon. Roger that, Hermes. Keep us posted. Kate, we have an issue. Problem with the scan? We've underestimated the power requirements necessary to penetrate the Metahedron's hull. Mike has an idea, but he could use a hand. He's in the lab and I'll give you the details. On my way. The day when Tam and I graduated and decided to join the space program. Never thought it would lead to alien objects in space. Tam was lucky that Robinson interrupted us. I was on the verge of victory. six months since the alien object known as the Metahedron suddenly appeared above Earth's atmosphere. The Hermes mission is currently making preparations to engage with it and attempt contact. Earlier this morning, we managed to snatch an exclusive interview with Richard Robinson, commander of the newly formed SCAR team. Don't miss it. Tonight at 7 on Newsline. Mike's waiting for me. Hey, Kate. I think I figured out a way to give us the power we need for the scan. I've attached the scanners directly to the engines. Wow. Directly? Brave. I think it'll work, but we need to find a way to kickstart the process with around 500,000 volts. Do we still have those SLD-26 welders in the equipment room? Yeah, I think we have one or two, but why do you... Oh! Oh! You want to modify it to discharge high-voltage electricity. <laughs> and you call me brave. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, I was curious. Are your folks worried about you being on this mission? Well, my dad is super proud. My mom? You know moms. Yeah. to craft a rail module at the mobile printing unit. There. It 
should be strong enough to direct and focus the electrical current. to fit all this together. Only missing a power source. I have to adjust the frequency of the Tesla coil first. I see Mr. Jefferson is in the lab today. Yeah, I never leave my home planet without him. There. Now just to calibrate the output voltage. Looks like a space blaster. Just a tool, nothing else. It's a vectorized energy rail accelerator, discharging electrical- Vera! Let's call it Vera for short. You sure like to name things. <laughs> Vera it is. I'm in front of the reactor. What's the best way to power it with extra energy? See the three positronic nodes surrounding the core? A jolt to each one would be sufficient. Yes, keep it up! Almost there. We need a little more energy for the reaction. Huh. Let's try a direct shot to the core, straight to the heart. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous at all. It's working. I'm feeding the excess power directly to the scanner. I haven't seen you shoot like this since the college rifle championship. Yeah, I also remember you taking first place from me. And don't you forget it. Good job. Dr. Ward, Dr. Yoshida, get to the bridge, please. Time to see what's inside our alien guest. I should return Vera to the equipment room. She served her purpose. party after survival training. We really needed to unwind. Telemetry check. Telemetry check. Here go. How are we doing with that sensor array, Mike? We're ready, Commander. You have the honors, Dr. Ward. Take your place when ready and start the scan. Can, uh, can you tell me that story again? The one with the astronaut in the box? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> it's the astronaut's birthday, and her colleagues leave her a present packed in the most beautiful box ever. She takes the box, but something's not right. She opens it. It's empty. There's just a note inside saying, it seems empty, but it's full of stars. <laughs> Well, let's hope the Metahedron won't show up empty on scans. 
or full of stars. You thought I was gonna miss that oscillatory unit, didn't you? <laughs> no. You always hit the mark when it counts. Commander? Doctor? Excess energy seems to have done the trick. The array is locked on the metahedron and operating at almost 200% of its standard efficiency. Say the word, Commander. Just a moment, Dr. Ward. Team, can I have your attention, please? Since the dawn of humankind, our species has gazed toward the skies and wondered whether we were truly alone. Well, six months ago, we got our answer. And with it came new questions. What is this object in front of us? Where did it come from? Who sent it? And why? While the governments, leaders, thinkers, and common people discussed the meaning of this event, we were training. We were preparing. The SCAR team. Now, the whole world is relying on us. We're dreamers and skeptics. We're explorers and pioneers. With hearts and minds. With courage and resolution. With trust and fellowship. With science. We're going to give the world their answers. And in this historic moment at the conjunction of hopes and fears, there's no people I'd rather face the unknown with. Dr. Ward, you have the honors. Let's do this. Yes, Commander. <sighs> Scared? Of course I am. I thought you army pilots were trained not to be. <laughs> we're trained to control it. The fear keeps us sharp. How are you holding up, Doctor? Oh, I'm 100% sharp, all right. <laughs> so, do you think it's a weapon? Well, a weapon is a very human concept. Perhaps what we perceive as a weapon is just a tool. Wait, the scan. The metahedron's energy levels are rising rapidly. Okay, what happened? Power supply failing. Sensors offline. I'm switching to backup generators. I'll try to reroute. Look, the metahedron, it's, it's creating some sort of a gravity well. The Hermes is being pulled towards it. Hang on, everyone. Dr. Ward! Kate! Commander Robinson? Tam? Mike? Anyone? Where are you? What is this place? What's happening? Saya, Donna. Who was that? Where, where am I?
How is this possible? What planet is this? Did the Metahedron bring us here? sort of alien structure. Sure. 